And now we have singles action with the Falcon taking on. It's me, the greatest guy in wrestling in the history of our great sport. You beat you to it. I'm gonna take you on a trip down memory lane to this moment. The moment that I became 1-0 in QAW. Things were going great. I was the greatest. Not long after that, though, came the losses. After that came the Rumble. And I didn't win the Rumble. After that came the Tag Match. And I didn't win the Tag Match. I was left alone, wondering what comes next with the worst possible thought I could have. Am I the greatest? Then came the bird, and the bird challenged me. The bird questioned me, but I've seen the bird over in Tahoe's Tampa Bay Wrestling losing. And I've seen the bird in Ring of Aviary Honor losing. And I've seen the bird at the World Wildlife Federation losing. So Falcon, I don't think you think I've disrespected anything or I've dishonored anything. I think you're looking to make a name on a man while he's down. I don't use the Falcon Arrow. I didn't take the Falcon Arrow. I ascend the Falcon Arrow. I changed the Falcon Arrow into the greatest wrestling maneuver we've ever had the privilege of witnessing with our bare eyes. And I will use that on you. And I don't care about you or your bird folk because I'm not great at ornithology. I'm great at wrestling. Say, little friend. How do you beat a man who calls himself the greatest? Oh, that's right. Hello, Ben Moser. You know me very well. The former featherweight Tahoe Tampa Bay champion. Former Ring of Aviary Honor champion. Falcon here with me and my flock. You know there's nothing more dangerous than a cooped up bird in a cage. That's why I'm coming for you and for the honor of my flock this Thursday. I know you don't give a damn about tradition or heritage when it comes to we bird folk. I know that people like Mike Diesel don't give a damn about heritage, but I refuse to let a word like heritage be a dirty word. Some people might say I'm looking past you, Ben Moser. But when people look back at this match, I just want them to remember one thing. This avian flew. Falcons take flight. Caw! Strong words from both competitors fighting for the right to use the Falcon Arrow. One of the most noble moves in our great sport. This is... Indeed, it is a mighty move used by two mighty gentlemen who are looking to build some momentum towards Mike Diesel's Heritage Championship. All important momentum. Here comes the Falcon. Momentum comes in waves, or in the Falcon's case, it might come in flocks. Well done there, Mike. Thank you. Rainbow Brittles has been giving me notes on how to do wordplay and puns. I think it's paying off. She really helped out. What she lacks in ring wins, she makes up for in speaking points. We see the Falcon there looking mighty and resplendent, the head of his bird clan. But again, here comes a man who doesn't care much about tradition or anything but wrestling. All about wrestling. He is, he is the greatest at it. He's the greatest guy in wrestling in the history of our great 
Technically, he is undefeated in one-on-one -on -one action. His losses have come in tag teams and in Royal Rumble, so Ben Mozo looking to continue his winning one-on-one -on -one ways. Let's see if he can keep that streak alive. He was able to defeat the Le Magnifique Nordique one-on-one -on -one in our pre-show for our first ever pay-per-view, and he's looking to prove that he ascends a wrestling maneuver just by performing it. Both these men are looking to up, up their spot in the rankings. I believe the Falcon, he came up short in that triple threat against the Beautiful Beast and Big Daddy the other week. So we'll see. They want to get some uh, singles wins under their belt. Correct you are. The Beautiful Beast still recovering after his pelt getting torn off by Big Daddy. Big Daddy, a vicious man and still tag team champion. But let's see if maybe perhaps these future champions who will come out on top here. And we are off. The Falcon versus the greatest. Have to wonder, Big knee to the midsection of the Falcon. I have to wonder if we're going to see the Falcon Arrow come out at some point in this match. You have to think that it has to happen with two men. One draping it in the tradition of his folk and the other one using it to win signature matches. It has to come out at some point. I'd be pissed if it, do if it doesn't. Calm now, Buckley. Oh, big shoulder toss there from Ben Moser. The Falcon reversing that kick into a big Saito suplex. Not much of a what? What? Oh, what is this? It's the beautiful beast! <laughs> His pelt is back on. My god, it grew back so quickly. The Falcon's mystified. His pelt's even more beautiful than before. It is indeed so many B vitamins. Roll up from the greatest! No, not even a one count. Falcon reverses. And a rope break. Ethan remembering one rule of the ring. Well done, Ethan. And well done, Falcon. Jawbreaker there for Ben Moser. Falcon reverses with a boot to the midsection. And a huge sling blade from the bird. What is the beautiful beast doing out here? Does he still have, I guess he has some unresolved issues with the Falcon. Perhaps looking to prove who is the superior animal athlete in QAW. Just staring down the Falcon as Falcon. Huge chop to Ben Moser. And a huge boot to the side of the head. Look at that speed. Look at it go. But you have to... Beautiful Beast just standing in the greatest corner. I wonder if the greatest wrestler knew about this. You wonder. The greatest wrestler has only teamed up with one other competitor in QAW, but he might have more friends than we're aware of. Could he be the greatest networker as well? Simply the greatest networker. Oh, huge drop kick to the small of the back of the Falcon. You, you wonder if Falcon's attentions are now divided and this could lead to a short victory. Oh, no! for Ben Moser, who hurts his ass on the top turnbuckle. His dick and his ass. My god, the grundle, the bundle getting hurt. <laughs> Big back elbow to the face of the Falcon, right in his beak. The grundle bundle was my nickname in high school. Could explain your virginity there, Buckley. <laughs> Big front face lock there from Ben Moser. He is great at wearing down opponents. Big dragon screw leg with Throwing him in the R pit there, getting the stench up, and Beautiful Beast still in the corner. Ethan has to have his yeah. eye on him too. Ben Moser takes flight. Such Huge. great, such great heights. Great heights right to the chest of the Falcon. Now whips him into the corner. But Falcon reverses. And just holding Ben Moser in place, letting, making him think about it. <laughs> Putting his nose in it. Maybe Falcon looking to show that he has great fundamentals like Ben, but no! Oh, the Greatest takes him down. Oh, but it's a big back elbow. This competitor is going too fast. Huge back heel trip from the Falcon who's looking to take flight. And a huge diving elbow finds its place. One! No! Oh, the beautiful beast ascending to the apron, distracting. Could the Falcon have had this one? One! Very well, could have, but he's going right back up top. Not to be deterred. <gasps> could it be? Oh! Coupe de Grace! One! Two! But that's not enough to keep Ben Moser down. Two talons to the sternum. The beautiful beast there, he, he gave he gave the greatest wrestler more time to recover down there. That's why that Coupe de Grace didn't put him away. Beautiful beast working with the greatest. The greatest, you would assume, is a 
a man would work on his own, but... Oh, he's pulling him down. Bring he's, the he's bringing the Falcon down to Roos. He's got him in the LaBelle lock. LaBelle lock locked in. The Falcon is inches away from the ropes. Will he reach them? The greatest of all submission holds. Is this enough to make the Falcon give up? No! Wow. Ripping at the face of Ben Moser. Man should break out. Boom to the midsection. Ben Moser reverses the second, trips up the Falcon. And a single leg Boston Crab. That's the greatest Boston Crab in Ben Moser's mind. Fucking Is this a fucking against tradition by pulling up only one leg. He's anything but traditional. He's successful. He might even say he's the greatest. But now getting taken to the woodshed by the Falcon. Who tosses him out to the beautiful beast. Is this a smart strategy for the Falcon? Well, if, if the beautiful beast gets directly involved, he'll get thrown out. So you know he's just... I uh, wonder what he's doing. Huge forearm there to the Falcon. Falcon reverses with a strong left hand. Forearm reversed. Beautiful Beast just playing mind games out here, not getting directly involved wisely. Ooh. Huge German suplex with the bridge. But again, the Beast ascends to the apron. The beast will not let Falcon get a fair count here. Falcon apparently has had enough. Having some words with the Beautiful Beast in a language we can only assume they understand. Birds and gorillas share the same lingo. Beautiful Beast not happy with what Falcon called him. <laughs> he's flipping out. Now he's leaving. All you need is the right combination of grunts and a naple just take off. Wow. Planet of the Apes. I don't have a way to finish that reference, but he's setting up for something. Oh! Stomping the shoulder bones in of Ben Moser. Is this enough? He knows a bird of prey. The bird of prey, not enough to keep Ben Moser down. He really is the greatest at kicking out. Falcon, Falcon brings him up. He's not getting the terror Look at him. He's coming back. Oh, huge Pele kick to the head of Ben Moser. Falcon looks like he's swooping in for the kill, but no, Ben Moser kicks him off. Boot to the small of the back. Now Ben Moser looking to take flight. I wonder if he's going to go for that diving headbutt again. And he nails it! Flies from such great heights. <laughs> really impressive way he turned his head around there. One. Two. No! Neither men staying down from the signature offense of the other. They have something deep to prove. Is a falcon arrow going to be the only way to end this one? How did they have anything left? How indeed... Oh! Bird mutilation from Ben Moser! Ethan! Getting... God! Ethan now inspecting the plumage. Could this... Is this enough? No, the Falcon fights out of it again! Great technical skills on both parts there. Incredible submission skills from Ben Moser, but... Falcon hoists him up! Ben fights out of it! Huge elbows to the side of the head! Stalling the equilibrium of the Falcon. Oh! Snap suplex! He's gonna beat him with a snap suplex! Is that Two! It? No! Oh, and the Falcon's wing is broken! Did he break his wing? Look at that! He broke his wing! This is brutal! Now he's putting him down to the bell lock again! Look he's at wrapping it. the broken wing around his neck! This is horrible! It's snapped off at the elbow! That is it! Ethan's ending it! The greatest wrestler has maimed the Falcon! Oh my god! Look at his heart! His wing is hanging akimbo! How could this happen? Somebody get a doctor in here! A bird doctor, for God's sakes! Get the ornithologist! You have to break his wing and put it, it reset it, it's terrible! Stop testing people, focus on this bird wing! Oh, Ethan is vomiting in the ring, this is disgusting! Clean yourself up, Ethan! Oh, Karen, don't lick that, that's disgusting! Karen! Karen! Get away from there! Oh, but Ben Moser piling on the pain, diving headbutts, all softening up the Falcon for... What, oh, maybe we should have seen coming is hollow bird bone snapping after the suplex. Oh, Ethan, just glad that he has glass bones for once. Here's Good lord. Winner. The Falcon's still down, understandably. His arm shattered and the greatest, pr oh, going to any length for a victory tonight. He's very proud of himself for hurting that animal. 
How graphic. Folks, stay with us. <laughs>